what is up youtube fam and welcome back to mine and cat's channel you guys it's me ken checking in here i'm so happy to be back with you guys as you guys saw from the title of the video i am going to be taking you guys through some yummy post-workout meals i just want to say that some key points that you guys may want to know is that protein is going to be the number one most important macronutrient to incorporate in your meals post-workout just being that you did train hard your muscle tissue is damaged it has been broken down and you need to make sure that that is replenished protein is going to do that for you and then also carbohydrates you guys your glycogen has now been depleted and then you just want to make sure that you are replenishing your glycogen stores post-workout that's not something to really stress about just because like if you have a lot of carbs pre-workout and or you have a good amount of carbs later on in the day that glycogen is going to be restored regardless but i personally like having an adequate amount of protein carbs and then a little bit of fats post-workout i don't like having a super fatty meal post-workout just because it does slow down digestion i would prefer to have a little bit more fats either pre-workout and or like later on in the day but i'm excited to show you guys these meals there is just such a good variety of foods you guys that personally make me feel good that make me feel refueled and to me, that is what is most important. I hope you guys can try some of these out. I hope you guys find this video helpful and let's get started. <laughs> Here is post-workout meal number one, you guys. So I did four ounces of lean ground turkey. I did about a cup of jasmine rice, some salsa, some dairy-free feta cheese, and then some spinach. And then I just topped it with some pepper and then everything but the bagel seasoning. You guys, the macros for this meal are going to be 47 carbs, eight fat, and 32 protein, which for me is prime. This whole meal is 450 calories you guys typically I would say the least amount of carbs that you should have post-workout that I feel is optimal would be about like 25 to 30 that would be my low end um, and I will go upwards of like a hundred plus at times just depending on how intense my session was what time I'm training throughout the day what I had pre-workout meal and depending on the meals I had earlier that day so there is quite a bit that goes into it but more so I just I really like listening to my body if I'm super hungry post-workout I'll have a very carb heavy post-workout meal and then I'll keep my fats on the lower end post-workout and then protein usually stays between like at least 20 and then upwards of like 40 grams of protein I highly recommend you guys this isn't that much chicken then I also just baked some sockeye salmon that I already plated but cooking your chicken and your protein in bulk will save your ass <laughs> so much time you guys I cooked ground turkey earlier and then I did just put it in a little container in the fridge that way like post-workout if your girl is ravenous or I need to run out the door I have this already prepared and I can just like pair it with some rice if I'm really being boring with it like literally just have that with like ketchup and like rice cakes and peanut butter and we're set here is post-workout meal number two. This looks so freaking good, you guys. So I did bake sockeye salmon on 375 for about 25 minutes. I grilled some onion with some coconut spray on a pan, and then I just heated up some jasmine rice, and then I topped it with some soyaki, which is here. I just get it at Trader Joe's. I feel like it just pairs so nicely with fish, or you could do like a chicken bowl, chicken rice, and like broccoli that would be also fire with soyaki but you guys this is sockeye salmon so it is going to be lower fat than a typical alaskan salmon which i would prefer to have post-workout i think the, this lens sometimes closes but the total macros for this meal is going to be 53 carbs 10 fat and 35 protein for a total of 467 calories to me this is just such a well balanced meal especially a post-workout meal and or you could have this for dinner 
any time throughout the day. I mean, if you really wanted, you could even have it for breakfast. But you guys, so if those two meals were a little bit more complex, they shouldn't take you no longer than like 30 minutes to make, just depending on if you have the fish prepped or not. But I'm gonna jump into some quicker options that would be maybe a little bit more realistic for people on the go. If you're a mom, if you're a student, things that you can just kind of like whip up super quickly. I couldn't help it. I'm making all this food and I'm hungry. This is so good. I'll take a bite for you guys. This is literally amazing. Here is post-workout option number three, you guys. I did about four ounces of chicken, a side of strawberries and raspberries, two cinnamon rice cakes with um, a tablespoon and a half of peanut butter. You guys, this may not look as appetizing, but I feel like this is just very realistic for me personally and or anybody kind of like in a hurry or someone that doesn't have time to chef something up very quickly if you're out the door you guys get the gist but the macros for this meal are going to be 49 carbs 14.5 fat and 40 grams of protein if you guys don't have your protein cooked already a great option would be maybe like a protein shake i personally like eating my protein sources but protein powder is there to supplement therefore it's an addition to your diet it's not something that i would completely rely on i personally don't have protein powders that often but being that this meal is quick and like on the go if you had to supplement with a protein powder go for it my girl you gotta hit your protein goals Here is post-workout meal number four, you guys. So I did thin bagels that I get at a local market. I'll show you guys those in a second. I did vegan pesto from Trader Joe's, some turkey, spinach, sprouts, and then I topped it with the dairy-free feta cheese that I used earlier. And then I am having a side of these sweet potato chips. I'll show you guys the bag in a second. These are the bagels that I use, you guys. These are so clutch. For two of them is 37 carbs, four protein, and six grams of fat. That. If I am ravenous, if your girl is hungry, I need more volume. So having like thinner options in regards to bread is great because then I get more of it. But for the chips, I did use these sweet potato chips. I think Kat picked these up at Whole Foods. Just having a side of like something crunchy, like a freaking chip is fire. Either that or like maybe ending with a sweet tooth, you could either end with like a little bit of fruit. The total macros for this meal is going to be 41 carbs, 19 fat, and then 40 grams of protein. So the total calories are gonna be 500 calories. You guys, I think that's gonna be it. I hope that you guys found these meal ideas just helpful for you guys. I don't know, I feel like food can be kind of like such a tricky and like touchy subject and I feel like it can be like kind of like hard to wrap your head around but just there's no need to like really really overcomplicate it i know that everybody's in different positions i know that people have just certain backgrounds with food they have certain experiences around food and it can be freaking scary but my just key tip for you guys would be that food can be your friend cat and i live by the terms of fueling our bodies listening to our bodies of course if you have set goals in terms of like weight loss or like muscle gain your diet may look a little bit different from time to time which is totally okay but just remember that you can incorporate the foods you love you can incorporate the foods that taste freaking delicious that satisfy you you can have those things all while reaching your goals and that's something that kat and i have learned over the years we didn't always used to be like this but yeah that's like my little key tip for you guys just because i know that food can be it can just be like a very touchy and like sensitive subject but Food is your friend. If you want to grow, if you want to put on that muscle mass, if you want to increase your metabolism, you guys, you need to be fueling your bodies with the nutrients that it needs. Anyway, I hope you guys really, really enjoyed this video. I had so much fun making it. I did do a breakfast. I think I did five or four breakfast meal ideas way, way, way back that you guys may find helpful. And then I look forward to doing more of these with you guys. But I hope you guys all have such a lovely day. Lovely day. <laughs>
<laughs> I hope you guys all have such a good day. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you like this video, please like and subscribe just because it helps us out and we appreciate it so much. Bye, you guys. Love you.